right. Moments of celebrities losing their cool. Even though it can be easy to forget that celebrities are people too, like most of us, sometimes they simply lose their cool. With close to 40% of Americans not passing their first driver's tests, some celebrities are in that How many Americans? Driver's tests, times they simply lose their cool. With close to 40% of Americans not passing their first driver's tests, 40% of Americans don't pass their test? First driving test? What? That's actually a crazy number. To be fair, their system is dumb too. Wait, in which way though? Some celebrities are in that data set. Kendall Jenner lost it when she realized that she was not getting a license that day and had to wait two weeks to try again. Oh, oh two weeks. I'm not going to Let's go. Let's it's go. not, no, dad. My dad just doesn't get it. He has no idea what I'm going through. Even though John Cena is known for being the nicest Bro, guy in the WWE, weeks. he takes his privacy very seriously. So when a fan went up to him at a clothing store and started taking a video without asking, he was understandably upset. At WWE, isn't it? Thank you for asking. Why is that you? Or? No, thank you for asking to take your video. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry about that. And to make things worse, the fan tried having a conversation after he was done shopping and give him some advice. Needless to say, it didn't go his way. I've got some advice for you. Yes, be um, respectful. Right, I'll be respectful. That's my advice for you. I'm my my name. Ask if you can take a video, but yeah. you're just shooting video. No, you know, you know so me. I'm respectful. famous. I don't want to talk to you. I'm famous. To I'm Modine. When Taylor Swift saw. I am famous. I am Modine. And like, what kind of an excuse is that? Bro, what? Saw one of the security was about to remove a fan for getting a little too excited. She managed to communicate with security while continuing to perform. Man, honestly, sometimes security and personnel and management and your own team just makes it hard for you to do your job because whenever something bad like this happens at a concert or whatever, who is to blame? Who's the face of it all? It's Taylor. She would be the one to blame for it, even though she did nothing wrong. And she has to deal with actually performing on stage while dealing with the shit at the same time, you know? And this really triggers celebrities because they are always to blame for the idiocracy or stupidity of some people in her team. And she cannot be accountable for every single person, you know? The weekend, especially a few years ago, was a very private celebrity, and not much was known about him. But a fan spotted him on the streets flirting with some fans and started recording. And the weekend called him out for it, and his reaction is priceless. Hi, what's up, what's up, brother? You good? Yeah, thank you so much. Congratulations, Abel. I'm not a snitch. Congratulations, Abel. Being famous is the dream of many, but for Toby Maguire in the early 2000s, it was a nightmare when he couldn't leave his apartment building without a swarm of paparazzi recording him. Toby. Justin Bieber completely Toby doesn't like it. Even today, there was this one clip of him at an airport, and then he noticed how someone was there recording him, and his face is priceless. He really doesn't like it. Rolls with a paparazzi when he was the one bombarding him with questions. I lost him, man. What phone is that? Blackberry. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Guatemala. Hey, your friends want to know. We're all your friends want to know if we're you're we're dating with Selena or not. What brought you out here? A better future, man. Really? A better, yes. That's cool. Yeah. So, uh, everyone want to know how, if you're... How long are you in LA for? Uh, many years. Really? I love how Justin is, like, taking over this interview, you know, and, like, talking to him just to show him how it feels like. Just randomly popping in front of someone's face recording and asking questions. Yes, many years. Really? Many yes, years? Yes. Yes, hey, really? so how are, long? You going, are you going back how, to Selena or no? During a romantic dinner in Cannes, France, Brad Pitt was justifiably annoyed when he spotted people recording from a distance. When Jenna Ortega was asked to dance at the Golden Globes, she simply was not having it. Choreographed the Wednesday dance that went viral, right? Yes, I did. Can you show me real quick? You was just like, you was like... You was like... During an interview with Billie Eilish... <laughs> the interviewer, yeah. <laughs> it was like... Huh? 
The interviewers were kind of mocking her level of education, which made her visibly frustrated. The things that I need to do in my life don't have to do with But science. that's what I... You'd be surprised how much biology still comes up in my radio career every day. I'm yeah, like, but... what's an element? What, I mean, it comes up all the time. I don't have a radio career. At happened. 15, you graduated. Yes. That's what we, you might as well be graduated from college, too, then, while you're at I mean, it. I mean, if you're just I... making stuff up. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Yeah. Facts. But all I never... Right. You know what? Whatever. She went, to, she went to Seton Hall. She graduated Seton Hall. Congratulations, Billie Eilish. <laughs> Billy, do you My... know anything about anything? <laughs> no, she... During the World Cup quarterfinals of Argentina versus the Netherlands, there was a... Billy, do you know anything about anything? If I were her, I would just get up and leave. Literally, I would just get up and leave. So disrespectful. A lot of tension in the match, with a record 17 yellow cards issued. So after the game, there was still some animosity, I heard which about caused this game. Messi to lose his cool against a Dutch player. The host told Megan Fox that Michael Bay made her, and she took it the wrong way. And well, everything went downhill from there. Michael Bay makes you an icon. Are you aware? I'm Did not you know? aware. Are you silly? Do you the ever just look at yourself in the mirror and you're like... I really did it today. It's not really about what you did, but what he did. What you know? he did, yeah. sure. I Making you thank God, thank God for Michael Bay. Despite MGK's song sharing details about his personal life, apparently he's a very private person. And when he was asked about how it is being a father during an interview with Billboard, he sort of started spiraling and just walked out of the interview. Gift as a, as a father to my daughter, like yeah. here's something like you can listen to that like still has my pain in it. So don't 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 think that just because like I'm writing pop hits that I won't pop you in the mother face. Like now I want to talk about this. I, I, you, yeah. I, 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 dude, I've done this so many times, dude. Can we just, I don't want to do an interview, man. Like, I want to let my music speak for me. I don't have to say. I've been saying listen. shit for years, dude. Like, man, y'all don't listen. Like, I, listen to my songs. Zendaya definitely did not appreciate the people next to I don't know what made him spiral, though. That's the thing. Like, was it uh, really a reason? Or he just woke up on the wrong leg that day? You know, I wish I knew the whole story there. Zendaya definitely did not appreciate the people next to her being loud at a fashion show. <laughs> Wait, but those people An next to her are celebrities. Selena Gomez feel like a product and not a person when she didn't really care to listen to the answer she gave. All slows down for me. I I'm in. probably going to devote most of my life to philanthropy. Okay, that's yeah. good for me. <laughs> wow, thank you. <laughs> She's asking me questions, like good ones, and then she didn't even pay attention to what I was saying. Seven years ago, Justin Bieber was doing media for his upcoming tour in Europe, and he had to do an interview with a popular radio show in Spain. But upon arrival, it was not hard to tell that Justin Bieber was not feeling it. So when he was told that he was going to meet the biggest YouTubers in Spain that had a combined following of over 100 million followers, he took the moment to dip. They are the biggest YouTubers in Europe. They, they, they are like hundreds of millions of followers. Okay. Right after Drake showed a picture of a girl that got his name tattooed on her forehead, he kind of went on a tangent and started roasting the tattoo artist. Really incredible. I don't know if you can see it, but this girl tattooed Drake on her forehead. The guy who tatted it is an asshole, though. I will tell you that. I don't fuck with that guy. You did that tat artist, by the way, because you're an asshole for real, and you should lose your job and you should never do tattoos again. I don't fuck with you, and if I ever see him you up i really really like i want to talk to this girl and understand it all you know as the world watched their every move growing up kendall and kylie jenner realized that they really didn't need to go to school anymore and their grades were suffering from it but well chris so jenner me, on the right? other hand was not having their attitude about school and quickly nipped that conversation in the bud in class and i don't know anything and it makes me feel so dumb for your manners okay and absolutely no homeschooling girls come on chop chop <laughs> Turn that off, Kendall, and get to your homework. Okay, considering Kylie Jenner is a billionaire now, maybe they were right. Yeah. Shortly after <laughs> releasing the Break Your Heart Right Back, in the song Ariana Grande accused someone of cheating, an interviewer was trying to get Ariana to name the ex who did it, and she did not like it. Back, a lot of people are talking about it, yeah. and then you said, and I'm Well, yeah, quote. because people took my quote and made a headline out of it. I know what y'all do. Of course. Well, you said it. We no, 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 They twisted it, though. They twisted it, though. All right, so... That is not what I said. In one of the most entertaining TV I moments in history, Cardi B and Asia Davis were supposed to clear their beef on a sit-down interview with VH1. But things quickly escalated when Cardi B threw her footwear at Asia and chaos erupted. On the positive side, we got some of the most iconic memes minutes later. Reason! I had a reason! What was the reason? What was the reason? I 
Ladies and gentlemen, please Sometimes trying to get deep with a She's celebrity. She's literally trying to say the reason. <laughs> How can you even hear the reason if you're like just screaming? What was the reason the whole time? Simply doesn't go your way. To dislike him. This is not a therapy session. When a news reporter was being a little too sarcastic, Wiz Khalifa was not having it and just ended the interview right there. How was it Khalifa? growing up in Canada? <laughs> yeah, I'm a dumbass again. Dumb dumbass? Yeah. You just wear a suit just to look like you know what you're talking about. Yeah. But you don't know. We kind of have the same style. No. no. I just do that. <laughs> you know. It's over. Uh, Even though Olivia Rodrigo somehow didn't lose her cool, a reporter it's a might game. have gone to. This, again, this reporter, I feel like people don't like her. Too far when she asked about her diet. You on like a certain diet or a detox or anything like that? Oh no, I'm like, I don't know, I just eat whatever I want all the time, which is how it's supposed to be. Back in 2010, Gordon Ramsay received some backlash after being a guest at The Tonight Show with Jay Leno with Sofia Vergara, since he made some inappropriate comments towards Sofia Vergara and teased her about a traditional dessert from Colombia and her son's name. Teen. 19 Manolo. Yeah. Manolo. Can you change that name? Um, can I what? No, <laughs> sounds like a paint. Yeah. Um, okay, this is my interview. Yeah. <laughs> nice! Don't you worry about him. Don't you worry about After the movie premiere of The Amazing Spider-Man... I really don't understand what is this in, in, in the world of celebrities and Hollywood where male celebrities think that they can simply just sit next to a woman celebrity, hug her, uh, push her, carry her, um look at her up and down comment on how she looks how she's how her face how she smiles how she speaks like i really don't understand why is that so normal there and a lot of times these women just put a face on like they are smiling and laughing and i know that inside they're dying they like just, they're feeling so uncomfortable and awkward but they don't want to make a scene because they are used to just put a smile on and carry on which is really terrible i wish they just say it because a lot of times you hear after 10 years that shit happened behind the scene, you know? And you're like, that didn't look like it. It looked like you were fine and you're laughing next to each other and you have so many pictures of you like hugging and whatnot. And now we know the whole truth. 10 years after. So, yeah. Emma Stone wanted to go around New York City and do normal tourist activities, but sadly had to explain a man how having a job works. You were about to go to a premiere to promote Spider Man. Right. And so I did So you're coming out in your, in your dress. So I went to the premiere and I promoted Spider Man. I kept my head up and that was. Some actors like to act, but don't like the press aspect that comes with the job. At the Golden Globes, Joaquin Phoenix called out a journalist for asking the same questions he had been asked for the past six months. And things Imagine. got a little awkward process of getting into that mindset isn't this old news isn't this old news didn't i didn't i i felt like i've talked about this for six months selena gomez yeah, appeared to man. get heated with their security team after she was bombarded with fans running up to her oh, and she was... attended beyonce's renaissance tour in paris <laughs> back in 2010 like an interviewer had a very condescending attitude when talking to kanye west by almost not believing his accomplishments I, I've, I've actually never been on the cover of vibe you haven't? I, was, I was on time Time, Rolling Stone, Time, Time Magazine. You, you never heard of it, Time? Oh no, yeah, I've heard of it. I have a subscription. I just after a devastating loss for the Milwaukee Bucks, Giannis Antetokounmpo got wind that a reporter That's was nothing, planning on guys. writing a not so nice piece about him and the team. So during the after-game presser, he walked out when she asked a question. What you think about that now that you've gone through it? UFC fighter Nate Diaz was not happy when what looked like a regular reporter did a switcheroo during his press conference for a fight against Jake Paul. Uh, my question's for Nate. Nate, I'm actually a boxer myself and I've been trying to get into this undercard. Um, I'm just wondering if you think I could fight your brother Nick. If he's anything like you, I think I'd be... Hmm. Not very respectful. From brother, where are you just going to walk around the streets or, or some shit? You know, my homeboy see you right now. It's not a secret that Kim Kardashian used to be the assistant for Paris Hilton and then became very popular. During an interview with ABC, the reporter suggested that her time has passed and that Kim overshadowed her, which made Paris walk out. Do you ever worry about your moment having passed? <laughs> you wanna wrap up?
Robert Kiyosaki is the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad and so has made a mean. fortune selling books sharing his financial knowledge. And well, some of the content in his books when it comes to money is a very controversial. And when he was doing an interview with Cavalaria.com, he was not happy with the host trying to talk to. I don't know if you know what that means. It I do. It's, what does it mean? It's very dangerous for everyone. No, it does And it's not covered in anything. It's uh, the only value it has is trust. I don't really want to do this interview anymore. If you want to find out what I know or tell me what you know, then don't interview me. Okay. Just you, you do your own stupid show. I'm trying to explain to you when they tell you get out of debt, that's stupid because the money is debt. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh no, really, bro? Really, bro? Like we didn't. <laughs>